I actually did the same exact thing. Very nice. Good to see you again. Yeah, totally. All right. Are we gonna put in these names real quick? No, I was gonna wait. <laughs> We've only been talking about it so much. I'm sure they'll figure it out, but might as well. J Moto. After, if he wins this match, he needs to change his name from J Moto to J Money. Oh, cause he's gonna be he's gonna be swimming it. I feel that. These, these guys, uh, they both had some difficulties in brackets sometimes, but mm -hmm. they both were stepping it up. Absolutely. Uh, Pyro. He's he's been known as like the guy that is is always like it's 17, but enters, enters redemption does pretty well. Okay. And he's been recently getting out of redemption, getting top 16 at, at, in Lynchburg. J Moto's from uh, I don't know if he's from Farmville. He comes to Farmville, like kind yeah. of associates with Farmville. And like he had he's lost to Pyro before, but then he's also. Uh, uh, he has pretty good wins. He's beaten MG, uh, uh, who had a uh, 13th place run last night. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think these two played recently. So I think this is a little bit of a, a like, as you mentioned, Grass Masters they played before. How recently, how recently did they play? I think they played last night. Oh, so they might have... At the, at the Liberty Smash. They, they might have a uh, shameless plugs, but uh, yeah. they might have a little bit of data work together, you know? Yeah. Have a little bit of data yeah, on each other to be able to like, fill They were playing friendlies over today. It's like, oh, you know, they, they're they ready. They prepared they're each heated. other for each other. They're heated. You know? They're heated. For the culture. Oh, let's go. get it. We have a for the culture champ. All right. Uh -huh. So Pyro's going something out of my own heart, something after my own heart, Samus. And Mr. Moto, on the other hand, is going Villager. I have not seen I know he plays Snake. And mm -hmm. I, I forget he has a secondary. He's probably a tertiary character. Oh, but uh, I think maybe he's just trying to win the projectile battle. While Samus I mean, has good projectiles, this they're a little the, slower. The one projectile that a villager has is going to be making long strides in this. Because anything that Samus tries to uh, start up, she's gonna, even if she doesn't get knocked back from it, she can get ticked. And at least has a, her, has a hit stun on it. Yeah. So that's always going to be a big yeah. problem. I think maybe uh, Bowling Ball might come into play for early kills. If, uh, while he can kind of go low with his... Uh, with Samus up beat. You, can, you always have like, to like skirt yeah, the side there's, there's always it's always a threatening part. Oh, absolutely. You can drop it and it keeps going. Mm -hmm. uh, on one hand though, I think that what might be a very good thing on Samus's part for this, it's gonna sound weird, but it's her down air. You can space that out in, in correct correctly since it's a swipe board rather than like a straight straight shot down, you can take out both the balloons as a villager trying to cover. See, just like that. One but, thing like, we forgot about is that villager has pocket. pocket. Yup. So oh, see ooh. the bowling ball is threatening and so a lot of times, uh, Samus can stall with, uh, uh, with, with, yeah, with down beat. Mm -hmm. So, but also if you, if Samus is far away, you know they're going to be taking projectiles. Oh, absolutely. And so having a pocket, while it's not as immediate as like a reflector, it's yeah. still, it still it takes it, 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 Honestly, I think it's a little bit better than a reflector because since it's a pocket, you get to save it for later and use yeah. it in your own arsenal. And one thing I was going to say with this is that Villager has two cancel. I'm going to say cancels, but two ways to stop anything uh what's it called the charge beam of uh charge shot of samus the first off is really just taking up taking her with the projectile because if she gets hit while charging she loses all charge on it yeah, yeah. but the second one is gonna be pocketing that charge shot and even though even though um samus can just target another one having a charge shot in the pocket like that is gonna, gonna one increase the damage and two that's gonna be a whole different so game situation they've both been living a long time and uh -huh. so i believe we had we started seven minutes we're down two minutes and no stock is taken this is gonna be a so, long and yeah it's battlefield it's a big stage but this this could go to time at this rate this is gonna be a long match that, that as wesley snipe let's go first stock of the match everyone's here for some singles now am too one thing i've always loved about samus especially in this game is her movement like her movement is so fluid in this game she's like she swims through the air all her movement is just so crisp and that's for great annoyance tactics the charge shot in the grab is another great true combo that's been added to this game that just really helps with oh Ah! All right, okay. we're okay. We're okay. I don't need to go to the bathroom just yet. A lot so of times, Pyro takes unnecessary risk. He gets uh -huh. patient, but that was uh, really good. Like he he waited it out. I think Villager mm -hmm. was in some lag, and a lot of times, if they're in lag in the drop zone, just just go for it. Just go and, for it. And he got it. Not the freest down air in the world, but uh, he he converted off of it. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's taking opportunity. You have, you have to be opportunistic in this game, especially ultimate. You know. Game, like mainly in ultimate R2 games, I feel like to be incredibly opportunistic because 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 opportunities present themselves and then dissipate so easily. So you have to take them as soon as you catch it, or you have to realize what you can do with it to push the situation further without making it end. 
good air dodge from Pyro. Absolutely. Uh, and I noticed uh, earlier that uh, J Moto mixed up his recovery a little bit. Because mm -hmm. he's Villager, he has such a big recovery, he doesn't yeah. need to go uh, as low as possible. Because yeah. while that's good in terms of Absolutely. dodging some things, well, if it's like if it's an optimal option that's that's red, yeah. it's no longer optimal. Absolutely. So he's mixing know? it up a little bit. Uh, it's it's uh, awesome. that, that's an SD pyro. Got a little uh, impatient. Yeah, fast, uh, fair fast fall. But that that's the thing though. Like all of these matches are just. Especially at higher levels of competitive gaming, every single match, even if it's a fighting game, is just one massive adaptation match to see who can do what, who can trick someone doing something else, who can fool who, you know? Yeah. And if you can get, and that's one of the things, once you get into your opponent's head, it's over. That's why it's so devastating. That's why it's so devastating to get in your opponent's head. All right, puts out the Morph Bomb to try to uh, get him to drop shield. Mm -hmm. That's good. Like, a lot of times, uh, Morph Bomb into up tilt is really good. Uh, kind of good coverage. Oh man, okay, it doesn't quite get the normal hit, of, or at uh, least he expected them there, but he still got it. Got something to push him uh, out. The thing about Samus is, Samus is very light, mm -hmm. but, uh, or also very heavy, but floaty. That's what I'm looking for right there. That right there, that's reminiscent of YB, that's reminiscent of Quick, that's reminiscent of any Samus who's worth her salt. Freaking morph bomb, morph bomb ledge yeah. traps into up like, tilts. It's, it's such little risk, oh. and like risk reward is a big thing. Absolutely, Smash. yeah. And so like, if the opponent's recovering, there's no harm in putting it out as long as you're ready to throw out an attack. Oh, while the morph bomb is there. Why not do it? Huh? And I mean, even if the situation doesn't pan out in your favor, nine times out of ten, nine times out of ten, it doesn't pan out in your favor, you're not going to be taking any damage for it because it just puts you in a safe situation where you can retreat and they're dealing with the onslaught at the edge. I, the only counter I can think of is maybe like a uh, absorbing character. Maybe, but, possibly. But uh, even still, they're going to be below the ledge. Well, well, like, and that's that's another thing with like adaptation matches. All right, you see that you have an absorbing character like Lucas or Ness or something, like, or like me, Gunner, right? And does me Gunner absorb? It's a reflector, uh, not an absorb reflector. Yeah, it's a reflector. So like Luca, Lucas and Ness, right? If you if you push, you force them to the edge, and you start doing all oh, the morph bombs, where they're like, okay, this is an energy based uh, attack, I can absorb this. That just puts them in a different situation, because yeah, now they avoided the morph bomb. But the morph bomb is such a low risk thing. The morph bomb's not there to kill you. And yet the morph bomb is there to cause you problems, right? And once that problem, if you if you absorb the morph bomb, you're just playing into their hand. They get an almost free thing on you. So, huh? Set count. Okay. Uh, Okay, puts it out. Wow, that was that might be it. I think that is it. There's not much you can do there. That was really good. Like he was down in percent, but he still got the early kill. All that work. Thing about Samus is uh, a pretty sometimes up is tricky to, to time because mm -hmm. a lot of people hit by it. Um, and also uh, the ground for recovery. But if you can like kind of like blink, uh, or, like several kinds of links. Yeah. Um, if you can get them before they start recovering, it's, it's, and like especially without a jump, they're just dead. If you can catch, that's that's they're one of those. Oh, what's it called? A lot of these characters are the type that if you can catch them right as their jump is coming up and they get no upper momentum, there's honest times not much they can do. That's why yeah. saving your jump in Smash Brothers is one of the most. No matter the no matter the Smash Brothers game, no matter if it's like a Smash Brothers game itself or a clone like Rivals of Aether, saving your jump off honest times is one of the best things you can do for situations where you need it the most. Ooh, but as we're falling aerial, that's... and I would say, like, if Samus can live long, uh, it's, it's somewhat easy right now. Uh, like, it's, it's, but that, with the way we saw this match going, we saw an early stock already. Last, ga last game they lived so they all lived three minutes in on, up to, like, I don't know, 180 for Samus. This very well could go any direction, yeah. any yeah. real direction. But I just love, like, that's the thing. Oh! Okay, it's still a joke. Okay. We're good. <laughs> uh, but he, he does get stage control. I guess the force match off. This, this, he's putting himself below my dance, but he just gave it all up. I understand that you're a zoner, and that's what, one of the things about that is that you have to be able to understand when a situation calls for something. I know it's your natural inclination to sit back in zone and space and control an area, but, like... That was good coverage. It is. It was. It very much was. But like, I still think that this could have been going a different, completely different way, and maybe even a stock taken if Pyro would have just stayed at the edge and applied some pressure. But he's here. He's there, and I'm here. Yeah, so yeah, I believe. Oh, he gets that forward air. Very nice. Ooh. Uh, I believe he also has a, a missile still in pocket, so he might try to use that getting off ledge. Yep. There you go. Oh, wow. Absolutely. You I'll called it. You absolutely that called makes it. Makes sense. Hey, after being at Lynchburg, ledge off uh, projectile was something great. Oh, that's big. Really? 
Finn does it all the time with the Galaxian. Yeah. And he can get zero to 40 if, if you're not careful. So, Yo, Pac-Man combo you just and up smash. with the Galaxian. Not the most common move, but it gets the kill. And up smash still has not Like, yeah, it, it's just... It's not known as being amazing, but like, if he gets a kill, he gets a kill. That's an understatement. I'm sorry. Dark Sam, that's one of the things that puts Dark Sam is, uh, just slightly ahead of Samus, is that it's like, if you, it's, you put it this way, Dark Samus' up smash has a better chance to finish. It does, it's not guaranteed to finish, but has a better chance to finish than Samus' does. Yeah, that's but, funny, like, also, jab 1-2 is not guaranteed either. Like, absolutely. Like, you have to just nickel and dime with Samus, and like, like, yeah, you have some throw combos, but also the, 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 uh, the grab is risky. Like, so much lag any, anything that would have been anyone else's bread and butter is not something you can use for Samus. Like, like, take Game of for a set, for example, your whole neutral game can just be short hop near. If you try to short hop near that much with Samus, you leave yourself so incredibly yeah, open. It's a good move, but it only covers a little bit and gets gets the berry into the uh, the bowling ball. We got one one. So this this is the money match that everyone's been waiting for. Not money match. This is the grudge match uh, everyone's been waiting. There's been some side betting. Uh, wait wait wait. We're not supposed to talk about that on the stream. I mean, just, uh, <laughs> a little birdie, you know. Oh my goodness. But hey, man, if this if that's what we're getting. Into, so, that's what we're I getting know into. Pyro also has a few other characters. He, he, he plays uh, Toon Link. Yeah. A little bit of Wolf. Yeah. Uh, maybe Ooh, really? A few other characters here and there. ZSS. Well, so, I, I think Samus is, is his most comfortable. But probably. But so, like, it was, Link. He's, he's able to stay out. That's my thing. As you saw here, even like, with like. Back when, back when I was saying you could have gotten the kill of applying pressure to the ledge, he loves space. He loves controlling zones. He likes having the person have to come to him. So what the, what I think with this is he realizes that, like, S Samus doesn't have the best open potential, you know? Samus doesn't have much to do in, more, in, ter in terms of, like, getting people to play the way you want them to play. But even with this switch now, we already see, I saw the match start in immediate 31%, you know? Yeah. And interesting that he's going back to uh, Battlefield. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would help Villager more because the bigger stages, like, if, as long as you live the blast of the Villager, you can get back. Yep. And I feel like it's different for Toon Link, but I think it made a comfort pin. I was just about to say it's a comfort bit and like, play bit. Like, this is their PS2 in the moment. Like, you know what? The stage doesn't benefit nor hurt me enough to choose something else. So, it's a comfortability thing where, like, uh, he already, Pyro already plays heavily heavily as a zoner and a spacer so in something like this he probably still feels a little more natural because like it like you know how everyone else everyone has a very specific panic reaction right when things are getting heavy some people like people that play rushdowns and falcons like we'll start being more frenetic in our actions start like we'll, we'll keep like we'll, maybe like a whole backwards yeah yeah but we'll, like we'll stay in your face and like try to juke you out and with zoners they're like things are getting too heavy let me literally just disengage yeah and i think that's something he still wants to be able to hold on to just in case and you know things don't go his way but he's doing an amazing yeah, job right not now to oversimplify it but i think samus has some slower aerials yeah and like Toon Link is probably just better at getting the, the small aerials, and also he has a sword. He can get bomb forward air like once Ooh, hit, and yo, I imagine that's something he's going to look for. Some of the things I want to see in this match, I know it's not going to work. One thing I want to see, I want to see like... Someone. Oh. <laughs> I was like, please don't take the phone with me. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, the whole thing. And so Pyro still hasn't lost his stock yet. Uh, Demeter hasn't taken too much damage, so he's probably just... Uh, being patient, because a lot of times if you're too desperate to get the stock, you you, you do things that just aren't, aren't smart. Absolutely, it's like it's composure. You ever play, have you played Sekiro? Uh, I know what it is. All right, so I actually a lot of times when playing games, I and I trying to help my friends start getting into competitive fighting games. I actually use Sekiro as a little bit of an example because the way uh, Sekiro uses. Po the posture meter at the bottom whenever you get hit too much it, it fills up it's the same it's the, it's the same thing here like the more intense the fight is it's kind of counterintuitive but the more intense the fight is the more you have to keep your composure if you want to do something right or if you're gonna panic and make a wrong situation and that's the game it actually rides that lloyd there but he doesn't get punished for it so uh makes it work and it's it's getting pretty close I, i'd say it's pretty much even right now oh it very much is 20 20 percent different is not much we have a little bit of a crowd forming too people we're getting a little into this. All right, throws up the Lloyd, but he put it high, and then he makes short enough to dash under it if it's not that high. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna call that a low profile because like he didn't have to duck. He just he just walked. But he's he's. <laughs> <laughs> J Moto J Moto has 
really right. turned this around in like a spectacular fashion. It's nothing it's nothing decisive. It's nothing huge. No, no, no. No, we live it! Oh, we live it! Oh, we live it! Oh, we live it! Oh, Villager, as you said, if Villager doesn't touch the flat zone, oh. Oh, that was an amazing snipe, but we're dealing with Villager. No, uh, that would have been an upbeat. That was an upbeat. Or an upbeat. Oh, either one works. Yeah. And he gets the grab, but the Lloyd pushes him out of the grab. Pyro, so. Pyro for a very oh. This is getting very hectic. Pi pyro, I, I, All right, I let's, let's, let's go Pyro. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be biased, but I'm saying that Pyro seems like he's losing a little bit of composure. Because he already started the match with Sam, which is different. But hey, I'm talking, the kill comes out. Let me not talk about this. This is any, anyone's game. Anyone's game. They are battling for those bells, let me tell oh you. Oh my god, why do you, wow. think, why do you think we called it that, son? Oh my goodness. And I'm yeah, pretty sure bells are from uh, Villager's world. No, so it, I mean, if Villager, if Villager loses, he has to be deleted from the annals of history. That's just how it works. Oh my goodness. You can, you can, you can hear the crowd. You can hear the crowd right there. This is right. just bracket. Oh, wow. He gets the boomerang into the bomb. This is the four damage. So there's a lot of damage. Uh, that's still a setup. And I mean, all and any kind of damage is mental damage. Mental ta mental damage really racks up in this yeah, game. Yeah, that's, that's the more, what, more important. Yeah, exactly. They're both below, like, above. They're below 12 percent right now. Yeah, oh, I don't, I don't know about that. If it's, it's a, a bowling ball, sure. Or yeah, three. It's a but like for the most kill opportunities, it's, uh, Pyro is still not in 12 percent yet. Absolutely. So, so he's this, still just gonna try to nickel and dime. And uh, probably yeah, try to hold on to his, recovery. Hold on to his last life and, as long as he can. But that, right. that hack is gonna be coming into play. Good. That hack is right. really gonna be coming to play with this. A little slow on the up air, but uh, and then he lets him down. I think maybe if he does. Oh, well, what a great yeah, roll! Yeah. What a great yeah. roll right there. I don't know if that was just slow or just not frame perfect. Uh, I don't think uh, either way he gets yeah. out of the situation. Yeah. He gets to live a little bit longer. But with the way things is going, whenever uh, whenever a low like whenever a low like this happens, whenever a low like this happens, it's pretty indecisive for a while. And then and then Jay Moto does something come back. So like, oh oh, oh this is roll backwards. This is getting intense. This is crazy. This is a, this is a hype like, map. We we were joking at first a little bit. Like we knew it was gonna be close. Yeah. Not nah, fair through the tree. Put puts him in a great situation. Oh, missed a up, slow on that. Missed up air. No opportunities right there. They're yeah. scrambling all over the stage. You know the they're the right now. They're just. That's composure. Oh, oh, oh no, he's still alive. We got DI here for dang. Oh, that's a fuck. No, he's no, no, no. He's a dude. Oh, oh, that would have been. That should have been a fair. That should have been a fair. And it wasn't. No, no fair to yet. Oh, the LP gets it. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh. What an amazing oh. game, too. Oh, snap. Performance from both players, especially at. Why are you dripping? Why are you so fly? <laughs> and watch like the winner have to play like Ben next. Oh my like god! That. <laughs> this is like good I job. Die. Like. All right, I know you did amazing in your match just now, but I just want you to know where you stand. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Oh my god, that All was right. a. That was an incredible person. I didn't never know two two zoners like that would be so exciting. I thought it was like, I mean, like it's, going to sleep, it's, but it's, it's one of those things where like at the beginning when the match was first starting, yeah, a little bit. You know, especially with the first game with uh, Samus Villager. And like three minutes in, neither person dead. Alright, you can kinda of understand if you feel like that's gonna be the whole entire set. But like Can I get I think what started for me? is that what started that whole thing is first Pyro's mindset changed and that he started understanding that like his character is a secondary zoner. Like, Toon Link will zone you when there's not much better options to like get it, to rack up some damage, to mess up your positioning and force you into bad situations. But when push comes to shove, Toon Link is a melee player. Yeah. He's a he's a melee. I mean, not, he, he's a sword. Exactly. He's like he's supposed to be in your face. And I think what really helped Pyro with that is when he realized that like when he did it, he did it often where like he'd be in a bad situation he'd move back boomerang arrow boomerang arrow yeah. like that doesn't do like if you're a Samus you can do like mid charge charge shot or, or, or missile yeah that'll do something but 
I don't know. It was just like it was the playstyle change and him understanding how to use his character that really racked things up in the end. And then like and then like glancing glancing uh J Moto with the uh with the uh fair through the tree. I think that's what sealed everything. I think that's what did it. Hey Foster, give us a stream match. Stream match! No! Can I get Jada and Sarah on stream? Ooh, that'd be a good one. Who? So, uh, Jiga and, and Siri. Jiga is how? Uh, lowercase J-I-G-A. -I -G -I -G -A. Just like that? Yeah, and then Siri, S-E-I-R-E-I. -E -I. So, I don't know either of these players super well, uh, but I know, I know Jiga a little more. Okay. He is a Charlottesville Oreo. Oh. And he's been on the ground. He, he took Ben to game five at the 